Hey guys, welcome back. So in this part, we are going to go into the Facebook post, the Twitter post, and um, some other post regarding Jeff and Chalia. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to read this information off of my actual um, computer screen instead of off my laptop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, put uh, pictures of the post or what I'll do um, is, you know, put some other pictures and stuff on there. Either way, I'm going to show you guys or I'm going to read you guys some of these clips or some of these posts. I can't English right now. And then we will talk about them. So I'm going to read the posts. We'll kind of break them down and then we'll go on from there. <clears throat> So the one I want to talk about is that Jeff is doing reports again. Um, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, so Jeff and Shalia used to do these um, reports. Jeff used to do these things called romance reports. There was another one where it was like one question um, answer reports. And then Shalia would do a um, astrology reading for uh, a person in their twin flame <clears throat> but the thing with that one was you had to know like your portion you know like your twin flames like birthday um so when i was in the group jeff was still doing jeff was doing these reports they cost 500 bucks um if you guys want me to i do have an old report um of mine as well as two other people's reports that we can go through and break down of course i will remove the other people's names, but I will gladly go over my report and kind of break those down for you. If that's something you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments. We can we can go over that. At one point in time, Jeff and Shalia, or Jeff anyway, um, well, Jeff and Shalia, they raised the prices to the romance reports uh, to, I think, at one point over $1,000. I want to say it was more than that, but I'm going to say it was over $1,000. And they were doing those reports um, for a while. And the reason for their raised prices was that they were saying that their time is more valuable now. And of course, with more value on their time, they raised the prices uh, for for the reporting. So um, after maybe a little bit after that, um, not too long after that, they uh, made an announcement that they were going to shortly um, stop doing any of the, any of the reports. And at one point they stopped doing it. Um, I think the reason they had given was that they were being called to do other things in their business to help expand their work. <clears throat> Some of the things that they were planning on doing, one was to have their own band. Another one was to do uh, gaming. Excuse me, my throat is extremely dry and thirsty. <laughs> But yeah, one was for a band, the other one was for the gaming company, which I told you guys I was a part of um, for a short time while it was up and running. Um, I doubt that anything's even happening with that anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure people decided to start dropping out when they realized that they were not being paid for the amount of work that they were getting put in. If you really broke down the the pay it wasn't worth it. And I've done a whole video on that. So you guys can check out my um, past video. I did do a breakdown of the gaming, the gaming company that they had called Divine Gaming. Now, at one point, they were supposed to also do the whole band thing and the whole music thing. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still doing that. I think they probably put out one or two songs. And then I don't think things went anywhere with that. I haven't heard anything about um them doing anything with that since then so yeah but so um that's what they were supposed to be doing to help expand and all the rest of that crap but you know things didn't go so uh i've recently been receiving posts and when i say recently i mean like i want to say november um maybe november october of this year 2020 of jeff and uh jeff uh, auctioning off, or not even auctioning off, but um, putting in that they, you know, they were doing, doing reports again. Um, I think at one point Jeff had sold um, 55 
slots, I think it was, for the reports. And the funny thing on top of that is, for what I find interesting, is that Jeff went back down to the original price. So he's only charging $500 for these reports again. And that even so, that's still that's still too expensive. That's ridiculous amount of money. Um, I've also heard as well, and I have resources. I'll uh, maybe link them, or I'll maybe go into it in another video if you guys want me to do the breakdown of those reports. That these reports are not unique. Um, they're it's a template pretty much taken from something else. And of course, you know Jeff put his own little touch to it, but it's it's a report that. Um, that you guys can kind of find online. Like I said, they changed up maybe some of the wording and how it's presented, but it's a very similar report. So just something to be mindful of. Um, but yeah, they sold off like around 55 um, reports. So we, uh, someone was able to calculate the money or calculate, yeah, calculate how much money was being generated. And it was a little bit over 27K. Um, so... My here's my opinion on that. Like I said, just my opinion. But for Jeff and Shalia to be wanting to be offering reports and things like that again when before they weren't because they just had too much time on their hand or they had too much other things to do when it came to building their business up and expanding um <laughs> the the expanding um their enterprise and you know um and and opening up the world to to twin flame and you know all this, you know, oneness and stuff like that. Um, so to see them do reports again, I'm, in my opinion, I'm thinking that they're low on funds um, and they might be uh, in a little bit of a more financial bind than, they, than they're than they letting on to be. So that's just my opinion on that. So um, let's get into some posts and let's read those and uh, hopefully do a breakdown on those. So... Some of these posts, one, I'm going to have to kind of cycle through these because these are going to be posts that I have not touched on yet. So, and if I have, I do apologize. But um, if I am, it's because I probably think that they are relevant um, even now. So, a while ago, Jeff and Shalia, or somebody, Jeff or Shalia, one of them, created a Facebook page for their unborn child, Grace. Um, it's actually under the name Grace Violet. Um, and on one in particular, um, they made a post, and it was from Grace, which is either Jeff or Shalia, to Jeff saying, I love you, Daddy. I just find that kind of weird. I'm pretty sure they said it was a channeled message or something like that, but yeah. Um, and then they have another one where it was a picture of some baby clothes that they had. Um, I guess it was ordered from Redbubble or something like that. But it was like their logo and some artwork that uh, one of their artists did that they don't pay. They don't pay their artists jack crap. But um, it says looking forward to growing into these. And it's a picture of the baby clothes. So I think that was a little weird as well. Um all right, so here's one post that I wanted to touch base on, and I this is how I think, this is a Facebook post, but I think this is how they're trying to get more people into their programs and into their groups. And this is dealing with their MAP program. So this is the MAP, uh, MAP stands for um, Mind Alignment Program. The MAP healing program is proven to resolve trauma at the core. Let me make sure I read this right. Okay, yeah, the MAP um, healing program is proven to resolve trauma at the core. More than 90% of couples in harmonious twin flame union have gone through the MAP healing program, which I don't think that's an option for some of them. I think it might be a situation where it's like, if you want to better your union, you have to do this program type situation, but that's just my opinion on that. MAP empowers you to move forward peaceful, peacefully in your life. <sighs> it can be an integral tool on your twin flame journey. Mind you, they're linking their MAP program to twin flame. So I think it's also another thing that they're trying to link into getting people into their programs like twin flame ascension school and uh, the all class pass. And usually once you get people into those, you're going to start recommending the life purpose class. 
um, to help people find their true purpose, especially if they're taking the um, twin flame class and they're not getting anywhere. Most likely the coach will tell them that, oh, you know, in order to, um, you know, uh, move forward in your twin flame journey, you know, you should start working on your life purpose in order to draw your twin flame in. And we offer these classes and you should sign up for them because that, that'll, you know, help deepen your, um, your journey and, and help you get your twin flame. I've done a whole video on that. Someone provided a presentation. Um, so I think that was like two videos ago. Uh, connect with a pr um, practitioner and it gives the website and learn more today. So here's the thing, and on this particular post, they let you know they, they, um, it is proven to resolve trauma at the core. So when you think of the the term resolve, the word resolve, you're thinking of healing or um, in in the way that it's being used, you're thinking that it's used to heal trauma. That that that's that's what you would get. Uh, uh, or to solve the trauma, right? That, that's what you would get from reading that. At least that's what I'm getting from reading that. If you go to the particular website, their disclaimer um, specifically says that they, um, that this program is not, um, is, is not a cure or not a... It's not able to heal. Like there's like it's pretty much like there's no there's no proof that it can actually heal like PTSD and traumas and stuff like that. And like to seek out actual professional um, help when it comes to dealing with trauma and stuff like that. And of course, like if you're 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 having suicidal th thoughts, to seek out um, um, special help for that. So it's interesting to say to see that your advertisement is saying that you can. Um, that it's proven to resolve trauma at the core, but yet you have a disclaimer on your page stating that, one, it, there's no proof that it can heal, and then, two, that the people who are doing these programs and this map alignment process, these people are not licensed professionals. Um, uh, uh, and so it's you're really dealing with coaches, again, who are not skilled nor have any type of training to deal with the things that they're teaching. So then the post goes on to say, tag three people that you that are important to you in the comments. It says, one person I tag makes me smile, one person I tag makes me laugh, and one person I tag inspires me. So this is for you to really get someone, most likely people who are not already in the group, to get someone to you tag someone in this they're gonna see and they're probably gonna wonder what this is and um they're most likely going to either look into the map program or twin flames universe and they're hoping that at least what i'm thinking is they're hoping that that is going to help draw more people to the group just my just my thought process on that i think i've gone over this one but i just wanted to go over this one again um, Jeff had made a post, this is a while ago, um, but it was in the group, this was, this was, he was talking to the, to the haters, and mind you, I'm, I'm part of those haters, for those haters, right? Um, so it says, so that's, and this was, I guess, because they realized that their information was being leaked, their posts were being leaked, uh, their conversations were being leaked, um, and they couldn't figure out, I guess, they I'm pretty sure they couldn't figure out where it was coming from, right? Because there's so many people, um, in the group, um, they have, they're having a hard time figuring out where everything's coming from. Um, not realizing that <laughs> they've got, a, they've got more moles than they know. Um, but anyway, uh, it says to the haters who follow our movement just to attack us, we're getting laid and you're not. And here's a funny thing. He's making the assumption that if, um, you're not in this grouping that you're speaking out against them, that you're, you're not, you're not like getting laid, like that's you're trying to attack someone and it and literally that attack just makes you look extremely childish like you literally look like you're having a temper tantrum uh with that post uh the next one goes on to say and this one was i think followed shortly either before or after that one but it says this group fucks if you're a chode if you're a chode you come to the wrong place so here's another thing that's hilarious to me is because you're supposed to be this spiritual guru yet you're 
you're attacking people um, and calling them out of their names and calling them chosen. Like, again, once again, that just seems very childish and very immature for a person who calls himself the second coming of Christ and calls himself a spiritual guru. Uh, that just seems more like an ego trip to me. Uh, another one that was posted by Jeff was, my wisdom is a gift which only ever results in peace. If you do not feel following me will bring you peace, will bring you peace despite my perfect and very extensive track record, you need to check yourself. So I'm going to say, Jeff, you need to check yourself because um, <laughs> from what we can see in a lot of your posts and even with your so-called twin flame unions that you've uh I'm just going to call them hookups. Uh, these people who you've told, told them that they had different, you know, they, their twin flame was person, you know, a, um, you've taken a good chunk of that class, these classes, these members from the classes, and you completely hook them up with someone else who is, who was not, um, uh, channel to be their twin flame from the get go, and then you came up with some BS excuse of, well, if I would have told you who your twin flame really was, like the journey wouldn't have been as juicy. Like you clearly don't know what you're doing, and you're trying to come up with excuses. And now that people are calling you out on your BS, um, and you call yourself perfect, um, and your extensive track record, yeah, your extensive track record of BS, uh, you know, you, you tell people they need to check yourself. Um, which is hilarious because it just shows that you're so unwilling to uh, have have sit back and, and have an outside perspective. So going on to the next post, uh, this one goes on to say, this is Donkey. Donkey said she wanted her twin flame, but she was too fucking stupid to receive help from those who were showing her the way to hers. Donkey is sad and alone. Donkey, don't be like Donkey. So it's a picture of a donkey. And I think this is hilarious because it just really shows that Jeff has no respect for people who obviously do not have the same feelings about the group or have the same mentality or thought process as Jeff. And the fact that he tries to attack people to say, well, if you're not in this group, then pretty much you're sad and alone. Like, you automatically assume that if people are not in this group or they're not following your 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 rules that they have to be not only they have to be sad but they also have to be alone so i think that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty funny as well um get the sense so it says this is donkey donkey pays thousands of dollars for starbucks designer coffee each year but feels twin flame help should be free donkey prefers to tell the twin t Tell Twin Flame Universe that they can, they are a scam because they charge what what amounts to a few dollars per hour of video content. Donkey feels justified in her resentment because she chooses to believe spiritual help is something that should be free. She prefers to help this belief than to have harmonious union with her twin flame with her true twin flame. Donkey gathers friends to agree with her, but none of them are happy, especially not Donkey. Donkey is sad and alone. Don't be like Donkey. So, let's break this down, shall we? One, I think it's hilarious that he always prefer to he always prefers to Donkey as a female, which is funny, but I can see where he's coming from because if you guys realize not about like 80% and I think Jeff even admits it. Um, Jeff and Shalia know that 80% of their audience are females. So for many females to read this, they're going to look at this and say, oh, well, I don't want to be like that, right? Um, it's that psychological um, psychological play on the person, right? So it says, pay thousands of dollars for Starbucks designer. <laughs> the funny thing is a designer coffee. Like, what? Uh, designer coffee each year, but it feels... Twin flame help should be free. So here's the thing: if I aver I've averaged it out, if you get Starbucks every day, and let's say you're spending a minimum of five bucks a day um, for a year, that's a little bit. It's like two hundred, a little bit shy of two hundred dollars, under two, a little bit shy of two hundred dollars to of uh, two thousand dollars. If I said that to make any sense, so pretty much you're spending almost two thousand dollars um a year in starbucks technically it's like 1800 and some change right of course if you get something to eat um or if you're buying coffee for multiple people of course that's going to be more right and i'm not saying that getting help 
should be free. Like if someone's offering you a service, I definitely feel that you should pay for a service. But the thing is, what's the value that you're getting um, for the amount that you're paying? Because honestly, you can find this information cheaper or you can find it for free. So, yeah, um, and then, of course, you know, they go into saying uh, Donkey prefers to, say, tell, uh, to tell Twin Flame members they are a scam because they charge what amounts to a few dollars per hour for video content. Here's the thing. The video content isn't worth it. It's not worth anything. After a few videos, the information gets repetitive. You're doing the same thing over and over and over again. So a lot of people aren't finding help within the information that is being present it. And then once again, like I've said before, this information can be found either for free or for cheaper. At the life purpose classes, you really want some help when it comes to finding your passion and finding your life purpose. There are tons of videos on YouTube and tons of articles out there that you can just look up. Bing, go to bing.com or google.com or whatever search engine you use and type in how to find your life purpose, how to find your purpose. And you will be, there will be tons of videos that pretty much say the same exact thing um, on the, the life purpose videos. Um, it's and pretty much they all say the same exact thing. So I'm going to tell you now it's going to be um, you can look up Steve Harvey. Actually, Steve Harvey did an amazing video about finding your purpose. And it's like, I think what he said in particular was it's the thing that you do the that you that you can do with the least amount of effort that you enjoy or something along those lines but like and he's like you know that's your purpose that's your that's your gift as he likes to call it so and there were tons of self-help books there's tons of entrepreneurial books out there there's tons of um, success conscious books out there that you can take you could take four hundred dollars and if i can take two hundred dollars and get books that are based about business and entrepreneurial and mindset and you would have a way better education than what's presented in in LPC, the which is the life purpose class. And then once again, just going into the whole donkey is sad and alone. So of course if you're not in Twin Flame Union or you're not in Twin Floor if you're not in Twin Flame Universe and you know you're not with who they say is your twin flame and you choose to go against the grain in this group, not only are you sad, but you have to be alone as well. So I think that's pretty funny as well. And like I said, with their audience being about 80% women, and them knowing that these people who are in these groups want to um, be in want to find um, be in harmonious union, you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, content like that. So here's another one where it says, Donkey, this is Donkey. Donkey wants you to treat her like she she knows more than you about happiness, but she lives in a dirty pen full of her own fecal matter. He says something else, but um, Donkey isn't interested in listening to, I guess he said your point, listening to you point out what sh what she holds most dear to her her own feces, but she is really generous about telling you how bad you smell like her, her feces, even though you won't. Donkey prefers to project her own stupidity on you rather than use logic and, and deal with the fecal matter. She, she liberally dispenses and piles up in her life. Donkey is sad and alone. Don't be like Donkey. Once again, we're going into the whole Donkey is alone and sad foolishness. But then we're also going to the fact that he's saying that um, these people who um, are expressing this stuff are not using logic. But the thing is, a lot of people who are speaking against this group are using logic. Um, Jeff is not using logic when it comes to trying to listen to other people. He wants to shut that out. He is, it's pretty much like Jeff and Shalee are in an echo chamber. If someone speaks out, if they hear something that back that is not what they spit out, they don't want to hear it and they will reject that. So the next post I want to go into, and I really wanted to read this because I really want, I really want to show the type of people that you have in this, um, who is supposedly leading this group. So let me get to that and then we will read this. So it's pretty much, um, you have a member and they're still part of this group who, um, was talking about, I guess they were having some issues with how their, 
the news they received about a new twin flame, right? Um, they received information that a different person was their twin flame, who, mind you, this person was in the classes the same time that I was. Actually, he was working with Jeff a lot longer than I was. Um, so he was working with Jeff for about five years at the end of the the class sessions. And Jeff had told him that his twin flame, we'll call her Martha, his twin flame was Martha. And of course, you know, Martha <clears throat> was having a lot of pushback and really didn't want to communicate with this person. Um, and at some point in time, they end up telling this guy that Martha was no longer his twin flame. Like this was after classes had ended. Um, they said that, you know, Martha's not your twin flame. It's Julian, Julia, whatever, whatever. It's going to be Julia. <laughs> and so he, I guess he wasn't accepting that, um, from, from what I was reading. So, um, he, they, it got to the point where this guy ended up writing an apology to the group because I guess, you know, it was either, it was probably that situation where it was like, either you apologize and, you know, stop being, do what we say, or you get kicked out. Right. Um, which means AKA you're going to lose the, this, this so-called CEO job that we gave you or whatever position he was in at the time. And, you know, you're not, you're going to, you're going to lose the ability to pretty much, um, have a connection with us so pretty much love bombing and then threatening to take that love away when they don't do what you say so here's Shalia's response to a post or to the post you came to us for help but you is this the one no I'm sorry this is not the one let me go back here it is and it says you have not changed yet even from this message, you just feel bad. You just feel bad that you finally got caught and you're feeling sorry for yourself. Your negative past life patterns with my soul brother still remain in you and you're, and you've been trying to play them out again on my husband and I. It won't work. You actually have to radically and sincerely change or you won't ever find yourself close to Jeff and I personally again in any capacity once again it's either do as we say or we're taking that you're we're taking our love away so it's love with condition not unconditional love we'll know if you change hope you continue to humble your arrogance i'm gonna need you to humble your arrogance um <laughs> hope you continue to humble your arrogance as it burns and is leading you to your next lifetime with severe down syndrome not a very fun and respectful life to have. So let's talk about this because this is a leader or one half of this group. You were little forget everything else. Let's talk about the down syndrome. One, the fact that you are telling someone that they're going to have down syndrome in their next life. Second of all, let's get more serious into it. You're saying that someone with Down syndrome does not have a very fun or respectful life. So having Down syndrome means that you do not have a respectful life in Shalia's eyes. And I'm going to make sure I actually post a screenshot of this because this is honestly disgusting and, and sickening. Um, you have no respect for people who have Down syndrome, which means you have no respect. For, in my eyes, you just have no respect for, for people who are different from you. Um, so you can sit here and claim how you guys are all, are, um, you know, all holy and how you're part of the LGBT allies and, and how you guys respect everyone and you love everyone, but you then turn around behind closed doors and literally say that someone with Down syndrome is not a very fun and respectful life. Um, there are people out here with Down syndrome who are doing amazing things. And for you to say some foolishness like that, Shalia, how dare you? Like, I need you to go check yourself, and you can go check your husband, too, because the shit that y'all say behind closed doors is fucking disgusting and sickening. So, I'm going to end the post readings with that one in particular. Um, the next things that we're going to touch base on is going to be a few housekeeping um, things that I want to touch base on, and then we will go ahead and touch on the Vanity Fair. So, I hope you guys have been finding this enjoyable so far. Hey guys, okay, so in this section of the video, we are going to be going over a few things I wanted to touch base on with what's going to be going on with the channel or what I hope is coming down the pipeline soon. Let's get into it. 
So the first thing I want to talk about is, um, as always, you guys know I post an email down below for you guys to contact me with your stories and everything like that. Um, just so you guys know, for the next three or so months, I will not be checking my email. Um, you guys can send still me, send me stories and send me screenshots and send whatever information you guys want to send me via that email. Just know that I won't be checking it for a while. I will get back to you guys um, after that time frame, but for about three or so months, I won't check that email. So if you send me something, I don't respond back immediately. That will be why. So um, just be mindful of that. I am still I'm still going to be going coming out with the bite model breakdown, so that will be four separate videos. So please be aware that still is coming out. I haven't forgotten about it. It is still on the to do list. Kind of like everything else, I'm trying to put interviews um, and things like that as a priority so I can get those out for you a lot quicker. Um, if people do come to me, um, the bite models is extensive research um, that I'm doing. So as I've mentioned before in past videos, so it's still coming out um, once again as well. Uh, you know, I want to make sure that I'm in the right mindset before I start creating videos. So because of those, those videos are long and extensive, it does take a lot of energy and effort. And by the time I finish doing research and stuff, I don't feel like recording. So it's still coming though. So just, just be patient with me. I'm sorry. I apologize, but that's what's going on with that. I wanted to get, to get your guys' input on something that I'm most likely, there's two things actually that I'm thinking about doing. One would be creating, and it would be of course on, on YouTube, um, creating a short, I guess, doc film. I don't know what you would call it, but I guess a short film, or so I can't even call it short, it would be like a, a film or um, video of me comparing TFU um, and breaking down TFU and comparing them to other cults um, and giving some research to how other cults acted and how they started um, and then comparing that to how TFU is acting and how TFU started up. If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. Um, I'm assuming that if I do do something like that, that the video would be like about an hour and a half. Um, so maybe a little bit over an hour and a half because uh, I would can be combining a lot of research and including past interviews and things like that into uh, that video. Um, so if that's something that you guys want to guys want to see, let me know. Of course, I would also include posts and stuff that I haven't done in the past already. Um, and, and like I said, just going doing a, a, a better breakdown of the group. Um, I, of course, would be touching a little bit of the bite model in that uh, that that video, but it wouldn't be as in depth um, as I would be doing later on down the road. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. Um, after all that, now we are finally going to get into the Vanity Fair article. Alright guys, welcome back to the final part of this video. So in this video we are going to finally talk about the Vice article. So before I get into the Vice article, I want to inform you guys that um, Jeff and Shalia have already made a video response as well as a blog response to this article, um, as well as they have had people flood the Vanity Fair um, uh, Instagram that talks about this article um, with comments about, of course, you know, how Jeff and Shui are great and everyone's haters and da 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 da. So um, I am going to, at some point in time, have a, a guest on the show and me and her are going to break down the uh, the blog post that Jeff and Shalia wrote as well as the um, video that they have written. Um, we actually, well, I've downloaded the video and I think we both downloaded the, uh, the, the blog post, uh, so we can actually, um, make notes and break those down. So hopefully we can get that up <coughs> very, very soon, hopefully, um, uh, shortly after this video. So, uh, we'll, I'll be doing a collaboration, um, with another, um, person on that. So, um, yeah, let's talk about the Vanity Fair article. So the Vanity Fair article finally came out. Um, so just so you guys are aware, 
um, Alice, who was the um, writer of this particular article, um, she interviewed with uh, ex-members as well as she spent extensive time with uh, not only Jeff and Shalia, but uh, the people who were at the house uh, for the so-called Twin Flame Boot Camp. Um, a lot of her articles, she um, <clears throat> told two stories of uh, two, indiv two um, ex two individual stories from ex-members in the article, as well as um, even quoting some of the people at the uh, the boot camp, I guess, as well as a lot of quotes um, when it comes from Jeff and Shalia. <clears throat> now, as I've mentioned before, Jeff and Shalia have already removed the Vanity Fair interview that they had with Alice, but don't worry, I'll be posting clips throughout, um, maybe even some at the end so you guys can uh, see um, that because there were moments where it was just super cringe uh, on Jeff's part. But yeah, so um, one story follows um, a woman named Kate um, and her experience with uh, TFU, um, and then the other one follows Anna Katrina, um, who is a couple of the LGBT plus community, um, and even talking about how uh, Jeff um, at one point even threatened uh, Anne about uh, taking on the identity of a, um, a man, change, so changing her pronouns and her name. Um, and then, of course, um, Alice also goes into talking, of course, about Jeff and Shalia and quoting them, like I said, as well as some members who were in the boot camp. One person specifically who was stating that she uh, got off her antidepressants and all the rest of the stuff. So I definitely advise you guys to read the article. I will definitely post it down below as well as some other resources. Um, other resources linking to the Vice articles and blogs that people have been posting regarding TFU. Whether it be through Reddit or through people's personal blogs. And as well as some podcasts that were done based off of Jeff and Shalia. So definitely recommend um, reading those and watching uh, those the, or listening to those podcasts if that'll help you guys get more information about what this group is all about and what other people have been through outside of me. Um, I also do have interviews on this channel if you guys want to go back and listen to some people who did leave TFU, some people who weren't even in TFU for a very long time. Uh, but we're able to kind of uh, see the BS early on. So just briefly, so that was kind of the Vice article in short. I'm not going to go over everything because I really want you guys to go read it. It was an amazing article. Um, of course, if you want to go to the Vanity Fair uh, Instagram and see the load of comments that people have been posting from TFU, it's actually pretty hilarious. Uh, it's funny because uh, me and a few other people were commenting and of course are calling us bullies and, and I'm asking people to, for me, I'm asking people to point out facts on where I'm being a bully and they couldn't provide any. And I asked people to c tell me where I was lying and they still couldn't provide actual proof. Like everything I'm stating was fact whether it be Jeff and Shalia's post, whether it be from their teachings, like everything I was saying was fact. So the fact that they're saying that I'm a bully and they're also trying to gaslight me into how I'm feeling, saying that I'm I'm hating myself or that, you know, I'm not happy with, you know, I'm resenting myself, all the rest of this crap. I'm just like, bro, like I'm completely happy, like I'm good. So you're trying to tell me how to feel and you're trying to tell the people how to feel, how they should feel as well. And I think it's very interesting because even people who were not even associated with TFU or even ex-members, if you read some of the comments, some people were like, okay, the responses just seem culty. Like, so they're really not helping themselves um, if they're trying to combat that whole, this isn't a cult feeling. Like, it's really, it's really not helping. You have your people um, going to this um Instagram page and attacking this article or trying to convince other people that Jeff and Shalia are really these great people and one is showing more attention to the article so appreciate that I'm sure the Instagram algorithm is killing it uh, <laughs> and then two um, people go to read this article and they come back and they see this type of crap on the on the post about how this article is trash and that Vanity Fair has nothing else to write like but yet you guys were 
praising the article and couldn't wait for the article to come out. So I just find that very interesting. But whatever, let's continue. So I'm going to read a few snippets of the article. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to be reading everything, but I just want to kind of show you some of the stuff that was um, that was in there. Um, so this one, I think, specifically was from Alice. Um, part of it was saying, um, okay, yeah, so this is like a, a this was how Alice uh, responded, or one of this was one of the quotes in the article, but it's like, see, but it's saying, seeing them respond to my questions, referring to Jeff and Shalia, was like having the characters on a TV show come to life. And and of course, you know, they go into the article and how, and how, um, explain more into that. Uh, and here's one dealing with the LGBT plus community. Now, mind you, like I said, they did interview people from the boot camp, uh, uh, specifically uh, Gabe and the other chick, I forgot what, Gabe and then the, the, the chick's name, I forgot what the heck her name is, but, um, because a lot of this group was saying that they left a whole bunch of stories out from, like, Jeff and Shalia's point of view, but she quoted, she quoted people from the group, um, and the one thing she quoted was saying, and I quote, literally a week ago, I would have sworn to you and did to several of you that I was 100% a woman, end quote. Gabe wrote in a blog post called Suddenly Suddenly Always Being a Man. Awkward. <clears throat> that appeared on his website in early 2020. After nearly two years as a member of Twin Flames Universe, Gabe had not yet found his harmonious union. Then two community members reached out to talk, saying they had been speaking to Jeff and Shalia. They had an important question for Gabe. In your, and then it goes into um, some information about what was asked. Um, I'm not going to read all of it because I really want you guys to go read this article. It's very interesting. Um, okay, so here's the one talking about the more uh, the, the characters uh, from, uh, from a TV show. So seeing them respond to my questions was like having a character on a TV show come to life. Their webcams were at perfect eye level and they were dressed up. Red lipstick virtually and a blazer for Jeff. Armani, he pointed out. <laughs> so I just think that's funny because, like, bro, no one cares about what you're wearing. Like, it's for an interview. I'm pretty sure she's interviewed more important people. Like, no one gives a hell that you're wearing Armani, bro. So in another, another, um, another part of the article, um, it states, in a 2019 video posted to Facebook, Jeff and Shalia um, marveled at how quickly their business had been profitable. Twin Flame, and, I, and this is a quote right here, quote, Twin Flames universe is valued at more than a million dollars, closer to two million dollars, end quote. Jeff said, recalling his broke days just a few years before <sighs> um, living, um, this spring they moved to a five-bedroom, $850,000 house outside of Traverse City, Michigan. Um, do, 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 do. and then their living room fireplace is flanked with $11,000 worth of amethyst, which Shalia regularly co communes with, um, and then it's got more quotes in there. So, um, here's another quote. Quote, behold, we are the prophesied second coming, end quote, he continued. Shalia was the, quote, mother Christ, Jeff, the, quote, father Christ. Their yet-to-be-conceived daughter, Grace, meanwhile, was the princess of all creation. Together, the trio was, quote, the master Christ, eternal ruler of all creation by God's loving hand, end quote. <sighs> So if you guys have ever done any research into cults, which I suggest you guys do, there's tons of documentaries um, on YouTube and tons of documentaries on Netflix. Uh, one that I can recommend that kind of reminds me of Jeff and Shalia is if you ever look up Wild Wild Country, like very like the way this group act acted is very similar to how I feel like this group is acting, like like Twin Flames Universe is acting. Um, and then, is this the one where, okay, so I'm going to read this because I thought it was very interesting. Quote, we really don't tell people, hey, this is your twin flame, end quote, Jeff told me, which that's a damn lie, but continuing. 
It was one of many occasions where he and Shalia said one thing and seemed to do another. Thank you. For instance, feel good in your physical body no matter the, no matter the circumstances. Shalia advised one woman in a Facebook comment thread just before and in the same thread she told a female member that she was a man inside and that her female body was a quote choice end quote she had made she had made to hide I'm sorry, that she had made, quote, to hide from God because you felt ashamed, end quote. The woman left the group soon after. So, um, once again, here's evidence of you saying one thing and doing another. Like, you say you're part of the LGBT, or you're, you're an ally of the LGBT plus community, yet you're telling people that if they're gay and uh, they're associating themselves with the masculine side, that... Uh, they chose this body or they chose to be in like, you know, a feminine body or female body and that, uh, they're, they're hiding from God because they felt ashamed. Like this is the crap that they're teaching guys. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, and then, so, oh, they're even talking about, so there's even one part where they're talking about one of the meals from divine dish. And I know divine dish, I think it's like a subscription, right? And you're just paying for recipes Here's what one of the recipes was. Uh, it was a ham roast beef sandwich with bry, with bry um, and a side of grilled pineapple. Just saying. Jesus. Um, and there's even one part where um, Jeff even talks about it's kind of hard to get into a cult on the internet, isn't it? And that's, that's not true. Um, if you look up the things that come into dealing with the cult, controlling the behavior, controlling the information, controlling the thoughts, and then controlling the emotions um, of a person or of a group defines you guys as a cult. You don't have to be person to person like but if you're restricting the information that these people are receiving which Jeff and Shalia have they've deleted multiple posts throughout their Facebook groups when it came to anyone putting any information that regarded other teachings from other spiritual teachers or from other twin flame teachers um they own they pretty much teach that it's their way and 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 their way is the only way like their information is the only information that is correct out, out in the world um, as far as thoughts, if someone speaks out against the group or is in the group and doesn't agree with the group, like they are immediately attacked and labeled as a hater or labeled as someone who does not want their harmonious twin flame or even labeled as someone who has upsets and needs to heal those. By the way, let's talk on that real quick. Uh, Jeff and Shalia have always talked about how attack isn't real and that if you feel like you are being attacked, then that means that you are attacking yourself within and that, or, or that you are also attracting being attacked so with this whole Vanity Fair coming out with all Vanity Fair article coming out with the Vice articles that have been coming out with the videos that have been coming out with people going to apparently their other social medias and calling them out for their BS they made a response feeling talking about how they're feeling bullied and how they're being attacked and da 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 da, da. And, it, and my thing is do your mirror exercise bruh if you are so if you are so adamant about other people in your group doing the mirror exercise then shouldn't you be able to mirror this crap away because i have i have the videos downloaded but um when i was in um the uh twin flame ascension school like there are people who had talked about being assaulted in their previous in, in their life and jeff and shalia who talked about how they attracted that how they attracted that how they needed to there there was a part within themselves that was attacking themselves and assaulting themselves and they needed to heal that by doing the mirror exercise so I'm going to turn that back around on Jeff and Shalia. If you feel like you're being assaulted, if you feel like you're being attacked, I'm going to need you to go ahead and mirror that because there's something within you that is clearly causing that if that's if that if we're going by your teachings. Um as well as if you were able to mirror this stuff away, then wouldn't, and if you were able to use a law of attraction to bring forth what you wanted, then shouldn't this have article have painted you in a better light? But it didn't. It painted the truth. It painted who you are as a people, as a group, and how manipulative this group can be and how they can 
pretty much mentally beat down and wear someone down to think a certain way. And if they continue not to think that way, then they are kicked out of the group. They are blocked. They are harassed um, until they either leave or they cave um, and they give in. Um, there's been multiple cases of that where people who were told that their twin flame was a woman, um, even though this person knew they weren't gay, and then when they made a post saying that I'm, I don't, I don't agree with this. I'm not gay. I, I know my twin flame is a male. Your minions and the people in the group bombard this person and talk about how they need to do the mirror exercise and how they need to heal their upsets and how they need to feel into um, being, you know, the masculine or whatever the hell is going on with that. And then it's when that information is um, redacted and all of a sudden, oh, congratulations on being able to feel into it. No, it's complete BS. The, and a lot of people, you know, like I said, been a Vanity Fair article on Instagram, um, you know, like I said, many people have, have made comments on it. I've made comments on it. And of course, you know, they after me, like, they trying to get me like white on rice. Um, but, um, you know, they attack these people. These people are like, oh, I'm, I'm a free thinker. No, you're not. No, you're not. Um, because if you can have your so-called gurus tell you to go attack an article, um, and, and bombard it with, uh, with positive information and you go out and do it, mind you, this isn't, this isn't brand new. They've done this with their, uh, reviews on um, Amazon with their book, and they've done it on Reddit threads. Um, and I had the information. I've showed it in other videos, especially when it came to the Reddit post. So for me to think that they would do anything different with this article, uh, they're, 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 they're having their, their people going to try to attack this article by loading it up with tons of stories on how Jeff and Shuli are just so great and they're so amazing, not realizing that, once again, you guys are sounding more like a cult than anything else and people are seeing right through the BS. So I think that's very funny and very interesting. Um, I want to see if there was anything else that I wanted to touch base on. Oh, here's another thing as well, and I've touched on this before, but like I said, you know, you've got um, people in the group, ex-members, not even ex-members, they're still members of the group, who have videos that are entitled why I'm in a cult and then right above it it says Twin Flames Universe Jeff and Shalia like and it's trying to be this like video of like how it's like oh, it's it's clickbait um and there's another one saying how Twin Flames Universe forced me to be gay like um and there's another one where like I said this is the one from Jeff and Chalia what that Jeff had taken they had taken down which is just that which is how to survive a twin flame cult twin flames Jeff and Chalia um so you're trying to make fun of it that you're a cult or you're trying to portray oh yeah we're a cult but you know it's an awesome cult you know whatever or um if you're if you're in a twin flame cult, this is how you can escape it, and you're trying to make fun and try to make light of the situation. But yet, when this article comes out, you remove that video. Also, another thing I want to mention as well is, uh, excuse me, another thing I wanted to mention as well is that if you truly believe that you got the tweet because well in the in the in the blog or not in the blog i think in the video post jeff and Shalee were talking about how twin flames the the term twin flames people who do twin flames in general was being attacked in this article and then this vice article and stuff like that i think i'm thinking he mentioned vice i'm not quite sure i have to go back and rewatch it but no one else is being attacked or no one else is being written about no one else in the twin flames uh community um as far as other uh teachers um that talk about twin flames is being um talked about it's only you guys it's only you guys that people are like okay this group is a cult um it's only you guys that people are like what the hell is going on and it's only you guys that people are going to your other social medias and calling you guys out for what you are um no other groups were mentioned in the Vice article. No other Twin Flame groups were mentioned in the Vanity Fair article. Um, so, yeah, it's only you guys in particular. So I think that's that's pretty funny and pretty interesting um, that you say the Twin Flames 
world in general is being attacked, but it's but it's not. It's just it's just people calling you guys out for what you are. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna wrap this up. Please tell me, guys, what you would like to see um, regarding the other the other um, options that I gave that I think would be um, good for uh, be good information for the channel. Um, once again, I do plan on having a guest on soon so we can discuss the video as well as the blog post that Jeff and Shalia have uh, <laughs> have made. And also, I am going to roll that footage um, and a few other clips uh, dealing with uh, Jeff and Shalia and their interview with Alice. Roll that beautiful bean footage. But uh, let's talk about past lives first. So... Uh... Alice Hines uh, is a journalist, independent uh, freelance journalist, and who have you written for in the past? Um, well, I'm writing a story for Vanity Fair, that's why uh -huh. I'm here, um, to interview Jeff and Shalia. Uh, I have also written for New York Magazine and the New York Times. Mm -hmm. Cool, and Allure, and, yeah, and Allure. all the a people. A lot of other places, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a serious journalist, is what I'm <laughs> trying to get across here. And you wanted to know, like, what, it, what was my channeling like? And so, um, we exper you experienced our channeling, and we channeled a couple of your past lives. What was that like for you? Um, it was really interesting, and I think a good representation of what you mean when you say channeling. Oh. I guess I don't want to speak for you, because I don't want to make a mistake, but, you know, well, I have it in my notes. Um, sure. What do you think I mean when I say channeling? I think what you told me is you mean, um, basically getting a message from, getting kind of a signal from God, I think you put it, yeah. um, a, that indicates uh, some reality about the world. Some reality about the world. Okay, that's quite vague, but how are you feeling right now? I'm, feel, well, I'm feeling good. I'm waiting for the answer on um, feminine being. And Alice has been here uh, interviewing us and our students, and she's been interviewing tons of our students. Uh, uh, and, you know, in Harmonious Union about their Twin Flame journeys, and you've got to experience a lot of Twin Flames in Harmonious Union. And so, uh, you know, I've invited Alice onto the channel. To, uh, you know, I can speak for you here. She's a professional journalist, and she likes to get the story that others have, and she's left largely her own opinion out of pretty much everything. We need, to know, we need to know what you think and feel. Right, so um, I, I don't have anything new to share, but oh. I do have lots of questions. Okay. I know that that's what they say, but uh, are you going to give us your opinion? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Um, I don't think, I think that's my role. And I, mean, I you know, that's fine. I I'm, that. I'm still, my inquiry is open. But the same thing with journalism, like... I just get the sense from you that you really, like, are very cautious about saying this is the truth. Um, I'm not when it's clear to me. Mm -hmm. um, because they're really, like, edgy, and we wanted to make sure, like, that's what we really meant before we dropped them. Right. Mm -hmm. So we reviewed those before we Like, the them. one, like, to, like, addressing haters and... Yep, yeah, we watched those, some of those multiple times, just what, to what make was, sure. What were the type, like, what, what will you do, what should you do if you're in a twin plan cult? Yeah. yeah, we reviewed that one. Yeah, all the yeah. most recent, the last yeah, six yeah. videos or so, six, six, ten videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you reshoot any of them? No, no, I never reshoot anything. Okay, cool. I never reshoot. The only cut, because I'm open to truth, and like if you're going to bring facts or questions that could refute what I believe is truth, like I have to look at it. This is an interesting video. Yeah, sure. I had no idea it was going to be like this. Cool. Yeah, it is interesting, yeah. 